morning, brethren. Happy Lord's Day, no? Happy first Sunday of a new month, no? August na junta, my soon. So, um, this morning, my soon, allow me to exhort to you. Uh, may we all go to the book of Matthew, chapter 10. Matthew, chapter 10, and we will be reading verses 26 to 31. Matthew 10, verses 26 to 31. I will read my soon. Uh, this is from the NIV translation. It says there, So do not be afraid of them, for there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Verse 28. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Amen. Praise be the word of God. You know, so um, the background of this passage, Mike, so you know, during this time, the apostles were faced with a lot of persecution and danger and threat. Because at this time, you know, they were with Jesus. They were preaching the gospel. You know, so a lot of um, the non-believers, unbelievers, no more persecute nila. But Jesus declared to the apostles that God is the one to be feared, not the men who persecuted them. That they ought to be concerned with, what, with God and His will than with the opinions or attacks of worldly people. No, that is what is said in verse 28. Nga, um, be fearful of the one who can destroy both the body and the soul. No? But Jesus also reiterates, my son, that a proper relationship with God does not solely rest on fear of God's power to destroy. Yes, ang remind ang mga apostles nga, although God is to be feared because He can um, destroy both body and soul, no? But you also have to remember that God is also caring about His people, no? It should also spring confidence in God's care. And how did Jesus illustrate this, my son? He illustrates this by describing God's care for sparrows. In Israel, my son, back in their time, no, two sparrows can be bought with one penny. So if you have one penny, pwede na ka makapalit o duha ka sparrows. In, in the book of Luke, my son, na pa discount did to. Kay kung naa ko no kay two pennies, pwede na ka mapalit o lima. Kasparos. So it is important to note, my son, that the poorest of the Israelites during this time no, consumed sparrows for food. Kay barato man kay siya, so mo ilang paliton, mo ilang kanon. No? Therefore, sparrows were of very little value in their culture during their time. But still, not a single sparrow dies without God knowing it. The point is, brethren, that if God cares about sparrows who were considered of little value, He also cares about His own people more. They surely will not fall to the ground without the Father knowing and caring. Though this does not, Mike Soon, however, mean that God will always prevent harm from coming to His children. But confidence comes to believers knowing that nothing happens without God's knowledge and care. Amen. Hard times are not a sign that God has forgotten us. Indeed, it is not. He takes care of the sparrows but says that He cares much more for His, for his children than the sparrows. God is quick to provide and is attuned with our every need. Amen ba, my soon? Has God ever left us, my soon, sa tong tagsa-tagsa kakinabuhi? No? He is forever faithful in our daily needs, sa atong paglakaw, no? Matag-adlaw. Um, in our journey, God has never left us. Amen? So may we all stand up, my soon, and let us just prepare our hearts as we worship our living God this morning.
Let's come before our holy God. Hallelujah, O God. Our loving and most gracious Father, O Lord. Lord, worthy are you to be exalted on high, O Lord. Worthy are you to be praised. Worthy are you to be revered, O Father. You are seated on your throne, O God, and you are a God who neither sleeps nor slumbers, O Lord. Indeed, O God, we fall to our knees, O Lord. We stand in awe of your goodness towards us, O Lord, for how mindful are you towards us sinners, O God. Indeed, O Lord, you have never left us, O Father. So we desire this morning, O God, to just lift your holy name on high, O Lord. We just bless your holy name, O God. We just praise your holy name and worship your holy name. For indeed, there is no other God who is like you, O Lord. There is no other God who is like you, O Lord. You are our good, good Father, O oh God. Lord, forgive us, O oh Father God, for the things that we have done, O oh Lord, that have not pleased you, O oh Father. For things that we have failed to do that would have brought you glory, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray this morning, O oh God, that if there is guilt, O oh Lord, there is shame, there is fear in our hearts, you know, O oh Father God, that you will just remove it, O oh Lord, and not allow it to hinder us from praising you, O oh God, from worshiping you in spirit and in truth, O oh Father. Father God, for your faithfulness, O oh Lord. So we will sing about you, O oh Lord. You will sing about our good, good Father. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. Yeah. 
continue to sing praises to your name, O Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to sing of your goodness, O God, in our lives, O Lord. We will praise you forever and ever, O Father. is the sacrifice that I bring. Father, my heart is faithful. I will sing praises to Thee. Great is Thy faithfulness. Great is Thy mercy to me. I will praise You, Lord. Buntagun mo ba ang Lord at ang awitan ng Diyos? Niya ihatag ang halat sa pagdahin. O Diyos na matinod anon, nagyo mo ba ang nangka? Mami na tunod ka o maluloy o niya niya? Let's
indeed there is none like you, O Lord. You are great and your name is great in might. Who would not fear you, O King of the nations? For among all the wise ones of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is none like you, Lord. There is none like you, O God, in our lives, O Lord. You have shown your goodness and your loving kindness towards us, O God. Yet, Lord, we still fail you, O God. For our very hearts are manufacturers of idols, O God, who at times, O Lord, replace you in our hearts, O Father God. So we pray, O God, that we will fix our eyes on you, O Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith, allowing you to reign in our hearts, O Lord, unrivaled, unequaled, O Lord. For indeed, there is none like you, O God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. So we praise you, O God. We praise you, O Lord.
O oh God. Thank you, O oh Father, for this time, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Yes, O oh God, we give you back all the glory, honor, praises, and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Panglingkod ta sa makadiyot, my son. Happy Lord's Day, everyone. So again, no, this is the first Sunday of the month. And as uh, what we do here in church, no, uh, we will have the offering. Uh, so that's why uh, the tithe box here is here in front. So we can take turns no, giving our uh, love offering. So we may uh, just stand and give your uh, offerings here in front. Happy Lord's Day, mga kaigsunan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, salamat sa ginoo. And there are some changes nga sa dagan sa atong kinabuhi karon kay naataron sa MACQ. No? So we are so strict in implementing sa government protocols. And that's the reason why, as much as possible, mulista gid mo dito, and then try to check sa inyong temperatura. And in case do na mo yung mga fever or cough, so you are encouraged to watch on live streaming. And for those who are 18 years below, uh, you are also encouraged uh, live streaming. And 65 years old above, unvaccinated. Now, 65 years above, uh, you are required to watch on live streaming. Uh, because we have to implement the government protocols. As we all know, uh, kining, uh, uh, Delta variant is not really an easy one. So we have to cooperate sa atong guberno. And another announcement is that 
if nothing changed, kay 15 days raman ang gihatag ining MECQ, the last Sunday of this month, we will celebrate our church anniversary. I said again, last Sunday of this month, which is the fifth Sunday. So, we will have our church anniversary. And another thing, we already started sa atong membership class. Praise God. So, if you are interested, next Sunday, you can still sit in. Doon na natay mga books nga gi-provide nga may atong tunan. And next Sunday, you are welcome. We start ta og 8 o'clock and then we will end up 8.45. So, ariragi hapon sa children's room. So, Osbunako, you can sit in next Sunday if you are interested for a membership class. We already started this morning. We will start at 8 o'clock and end up at 8.45. And another announcement, ang Couples Fellowship, supposed to be this coming uh, uh, Saturday. Uh, since dunay changes, tungod din ng MECQ, since ato manghimo ang Couples Fellowship twice a month, so therefore, atong ipadayon on the 21st ang atong Couples Fellowship. The reason is that tungod din ng MECQ ang anahitabo. And we all know nga uh, all things work together. Amen? Huwag mo nang tunan na ito karoon. All things work together for good to them who love God according to His purpose and will. Now, since this is the first Sunday of the month, and you will notice nga itong love offering box nasa tubangan, you might wonder why because it is the first Sunday of the month. The normal Sunday, do anas luyo. Only on the first Sunday of the month. So, kay unang domingo karon, and I would like to request sa mga month of August nga birthday celebrant. Please come forward and the church, the congregation will pray for you. Ayaw mo kauwaw. Kay pagkahuman, Palit man mo ginasal. Aribita mo sa tubangan, the whole church will pray for you. Katong man to bogos, please come forward. Ay mo kawa mga egzon. We will pray for you. Praise God. Sister Ivy, praise the Lord. Sister Nisi, Sister Edna, praise God. Salamat sa ginoo. Kinsa pa? Okay. Praise the Lord. And may I request the congregation to stand up. Mubarog na mga egzon. Atong pasalamatan ang ginoo sa ilang tagsatag sa kakinabuhi. Gani atong i-pray that more birthdays to come into their life, that God will be glorified day by day sa pagdagan sa lumba sa kinabuhi. Who else? Napailaing uh, August? Augustinian? Mm. I think wala na. So, can we all lay hands, mga egson? <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. We thank you, God, that indeed, Ikaw ang tinubdan sa tanang butang, O God. Ang imong pulong buhi nga nagingon for I am fearfully and wonderfully made by the Lord. Ikaw ginoong Dios ang nag raise up ining mga kaigsoonan. You foreknown, you predestined them, O God, to be one of your people, gino. And we thank you, Lord. Gani padayon usab paggamit sa ilang kinabuhi, O God, in your own divine and miraculous way that more souls will come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, pinaagi sa ilang tagsa-tagsa ang kakinabuhi. And Father, we pray in agreement this morning in the name of Jesus and to the power of the Holy Spirit that we pray, O God, that more birthdays to come into their life, you know, ngayon mong ipadagaya sa matag-usa kanila, you know, ang Diyos. Panalangin, usab sila, you know, ang Diyos, sa Espirituhanong panalangin, 
sa physical nga panalangin o sa financial nga panalangin for your glory. Father, we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy birthday. Anin yung tanan. No, praise the Lord. Salamat sa atong buhi nga Dios. So we will uh, maintain our social distancing mga egsoon. And sa mga onlineers, maayong buntag kaninyong tanan mga kaigsunan. And happy Lord's Day to all of you. And before that, Ismaili ng imong katapad, ing na, igso na lipay ko nga ni akakaroon. Hallelujah. No? Kanang sa tuon na sad, ing na na po ng imong sapikas nga side, na lipay ko dako igsoon nga ani akakaroon. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No? Pagkadalaygon sa atong buhi nga Dios. Kining Domingo ha mga igsoon, we will be studying to look at versikulo sa Book of Romans chapter 8. Mahibong mo nga nung tulura mo na pastor, dugaya man ato maghuman ini. Apan din ni sa to look at versikulo nga atong basahon, it talks about the doctrine of eternal security. The doctrine of eternal security. Mauna nga dili ni siya pwede nga ato ning kay kininga, kininga versikulo mga iso naglangkob sa maong doktrina. Mauna nga ako ra ning gi, gihimo nga tulura ning kabuntagon. Why? Because we can focus ang gikanta na to ganina the Lord is what? Our salvation. Wa may magsabot sa nagkanta Ang, ang, ang punto sa ato pong pagtunan, the points of salvation. Amen? So, mauni ang atong tunan. So, I want you to open your Bible in Book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to verse 30. So, tulunin ka versikulo. May I request everybody to stand up as we read this passage of scriptures. Book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to verse 30. 30. And this is what the Bible declares. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good. To those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. Verse 29. For those whom He foreknew, he also predestined to become conformed to the image of His Son, so that He would be the firstborn among many brethren. The last verse, verse 30. And this whom He predestined, He also called. And this whom He called, He also justified. And this whom He justified, He also glorified. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for another Sunday, O oh God. And Father, as we continue to study the book of Romans, especially this morning, O oh God, we will be talking about the doctrine of eternal security. Help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus and through the power of the Holy Spirit. Help us not just to understand, but help us to walk according to your will. And Father, we give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. It's all sent down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, every now and then, makabatita mga igsoon sa mga testimonies upon testimonies. Mga tao nga gigamit sa ginoo in a miraculous way. Say, for example, sa atong Central Church, 
sa Sinter Church na ay mga ex-convict na himong pastor, ex-NPE na himong mga pastor, ex-drug dealers na himong mga pastor. Din makaingon ta, it's so amazing. Makaingon ta, amazing kayo. Nga nahitabo ang mga ong mga butang. Makaingon ta, how marvelous God work in their life. Grabe kayang ginoo nga nagpanglihok sa ilang kinabuhi. But we need to understand that the same God ang nagpanglihok sa ilang kinabuhi ang mulihok usab sa imo og akong kinabuhi. Amen? Maunang nagigaw ng Biblia, God causes everything to work together for good. There are things in our life happening that very difficult to understand. Lisud sabton. Nga naman mga egson, because God's way is unfathomable. Maunang nagingon ng Biblia, my way is not your way. And my thoughts is higher than your thoughts. Ingoni John, in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 31. Kini mga butangan na hitabo. Ingoni niya, this have been written, which means the word of God, so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And listen to this praise. And that believing, you may have life in His name. That is the purpose. All things work together for good. The purpose of believing in Jesus is for you and I to have life. Aron ikaw o ako, makabaton o kinabuhi diha kang Kristo. Unum kabutang ang atong isgutan karon sa tulo ka versikulo nga atong basahon. The first thing is in verse 28. In verse 28, God is a sovereign God. And in the first part of verse 29, He is what? The foreknowledge of God. And then 29 continues, we are being predestined by God. And in verse 30, we are being called by God, we are being justified, and we are being glorified. Those things ang atong basahon ni tunaning kabuntagon. Once again, this is the most definite passage of scriptures on the doctrine of eternal security of every true believers of Jesus Christ. Book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to verse 30. I entitled this sermon, The Points of Salvation. The stages of salvation or the steps of salvation, the points of salvation are just the same. Now, there's a name which is so famous mga igsoon during the World War II, Corey Ten Boom. Sigurog na basa mo ining libro niya. Usan ni siya ka Dutch Christian Watchmaker. Tagahola ni siya, dagan siyang gitabangan ng mga Hudiyo, mga Jew, nga iyang gitaguan during the time of Hitler. Now, what happened sa istorya ni, ni, ni Coritin Boom, she tells a story when she and her sister Bitsy were transferred to a concentration camp during World War II. Na priso man ni sila, maungagibalhin sila sa laing prisohan. Now, they found out that their beds, ang ilang mga higdanan, was infested by please and lies. Ang ilang higdanan daghang pulgas o koto. Imagina igsoon ang imong higdanan puno nga nagkamang nga mga pulgas o koto. Now, 
Bitsy insisted that they have to thank God for them. Ang iyang igsuon, nag-ingon niya nga, Corey, magpasalamat tas ginoo. But Corey resisted, how could God use the fleas and lies for good? Unsa may mahimo sa ginoo, nining pulgas o kuto nga muhatod sa kaayuhan. Now try to picture igsuon ang imong higdaanan daghag pulgas o daghag kuto kay gibiyaan imagine during their time wa na sila iligo wa na gipangpatay sila sa gas chamber during the time so ang higdaanan imagine daghag pulgas o kuto. But here's the thing when they began to have a Bible study with their fellow prisoners they realized that they were never interrupted by guards. Wa, gipasagdan ra sila sa mga gwardya. Wa sila, wa sila tanduga, gipasagdan ang ilang Bible study. Nga man, kay ang mga gwardya, dili po ganahan nga matakdan sa koto o pulgas. You see? Mga Ison? Nakapadayon sila sa Bible study, Without interruption. And I do believe that itong mga kuto o pulgas, gigamit to sa yawa to, unsaman, to interrupt. Aron dili sila maka Bible study. But here's the thing, God can use them for His glory. Amen? Nga naman, kay nagpadayon ang Bible study in spite sa pulgas o mga kuto. You see? God can make all things in our life. Even sa pagpananaw ni mo, nga mura man nagway paglaom ng kinabuhi. Ah. All things work together for God. Kama. Pero doon ay sumpay, wagi period. To them, who love God, according to His purpose and will. Therefore, if you love God, your situation right now will do good for the glory of God. Amen? Let's go to the first one. God is a sovereign God. Verse 28. The Bible declares, And we know that God causes all things to work together for good. So those who love God, causes all things work together for God. Now, the important truth in this verse is that God causes all things to work together for God. First of all, we need to understand that it is not by accident that you are here today. Dili ni usaka aksidente nganong ni aka ng lugara. If you've been a Christian for so many years, it is not even accident nga nahimu kang Kristuhanon. And it is not accident today nga because of browsing the Facebook ni Abut Kadri. And it is not accident today nga tungod nga gidaka sa imong amigo or amiga ni Abut Kadri. Friends, you are not here by chance. It is God who brought you here this very moment of time. Amen? Ang ginoo may naghatod ni Mudre. Now, if we recall in the Old Testament the life story of Joseph, ang kinabuhi ni Joseph mga igsoon, if we will read in the Old Testament in book of Genesis chapter 37, si Joseph usak anak ni Jacob nga pinangga sa iyang papa. Tungod sa iyang pagkapinangga, ang nahitabo, nagsilos ang iyang mga egsoon. Nabantay ninyo ang inyong mga anak, parihasa. Amen? Nagsilos ang iyong mga egsoon to the point sa diyang nakita nila si Jose. Ilang nakita nga, nakadarang pinangga, papa ay. Ato ning patyon. Ingon sa usos egsoon, ayaw, 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 ay nagpatya, ay nagpatya. Atong ilabay sa atabay. Genesis chapter 37. Ilang gilabay sa atabay. Ingon sa usakay soon, kadyot-kadyot. 
aron makwarta ni ato ning ibaligya so to make the long story short ilang gibaligya si Jose now pagbaligya kang Jose ning abot siya sa Egypt unya gihimo si Jose dito og katabang and then sa diang nahimo siyang katabang falsely accused in trying to seduce his master's wife. Gipasangin lang si Jose nga ning attempt siya pag sa asawa sa iyang amo, but in real, si Jose ang gikursunadahan. No? Falsely accused. Unsay nahitabok ang Jose, gipriso. O nakalimtan si Jose. Pandiyayo sa kapanahon, na doon ay mga damgo ang king na why maka-interpret, only Joseph ang naka-interpret. And to make the long story short, nahimo siyang kaabag ni Pero, sikan from Pero, si Jose. Ning abot ng kagutom sa Israel to the point ng mga egzoon ni Jose, ning adto sa Egypt to survive. Onya nagkaistoryahan ay sila kay nakitaan man ni Jose ang iyang mga igsuon. Wa pa siya magpa- magpaila. Apan sa dihang di na siya kagwanta, nagpaila siya sa iyang mga igsuon. Sa dihang nagkaistoryahan ay sila mga igsuon, mauni ang gisulti ni Jose. I want you to open your Bible in book of Genesis chapter 45 because this is in connection that all things work together for good. Genesis chapter 45, verse 5, verse 7, and verse 8. Ing ani pag-explain ni Jose sa atubangan sa iyang mga igsoon. Ing ano Jose, God sent me before you to preserve life. Sa ito pa, ingon niyo si, ayaw mo kagool ka itong imon inyo kong gilabay, inyo kong gibaligya, inyo kong, sa tanan ngayon yung gihimo. Wa mo ingon si, pagkadautang yun yung kasing-kasing. Inyo kong gibaligya, inyo kong gilabay, o niya, tanan nga inyong kadautan, wa mga egsoon. Kita, o doon na gani, mahitabo, di takalimot. Pero si Jose nakalimot. Huh? Nakalimot siya. Nga naman, kay nakita ni Jose, nga nakasabot siya that indeed, God made all things. All things work together for God. Now, nagpadayon si Jose, ngunit nga, God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant in earth to keep you alive by the great deliverance. Nga naman, Kay nahibaw si Jose nga ang programa sa ginoo nga doon ang paidako nga muabot. Nga mauto ang kalisod during their time. Famine. And then, Joseph continue. Now, listen to this praise. It was not you who sent me here, but God. Amen? Ingnangin mo ko galingon ka ron, ang ginoo nagdala na ko dire. Amen. It is God. That is what we call the sovereignty of God. Gani gipadayon pa ni Jose. Gi sum up ni Jose ang iyang sitwasyon. Giingnan niya ang iyang mga igsoon. You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Amen. Ingo ni Jose, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Not only that, to bring about this present result, to preserve many people's life. Hallelujah. Mga ni akaigsoon, ni ata, this is not an accident. It is ordained by God. Unsa man ang kasakit nga imong giatubang gi karon wa kurati ang Ginoo. Wa kurati ang Ginoo but the thing is the Bible declares that all things work together for good to them who love God according to his purpose kay dunay purpose ang Ginoo sa maong sitwasyon that he will be glorified. Amen. I read a story of a pastor 
Kusa ni si kakapastor nga dunay anak nga ada disgrasya. Nga disgrasya nga yung dun, duha ka anak na matay. To make the long story short. And then samtang na malandong ang maong pastor, nakaingon siya nga, how in the world? Nga ang gino nga kong giwali, a love, a God of love, and a great provider God, and look at what happened to me. And he is confused. Nga nung naitabo sa iyang kinabuhi. So what he did, mga ikson, ning lakaw siya, ning lakaw siya, to release sa iyang gibate, nakakita siya og dako kayong simbahan nga gihimo. Church building. Punya samtang naglantaw siya, nakita niya ang usaka sculptor. Nag-engrave og granite stone nga giporma og star. Iyang idol. Ingon niya sa Katong sculptor, what have you done? Nya nakakita ka ini puro magstar. Yes, so nice. Nya tanawa tong si babaw. Kita ka to dito buslot na star. Nya oh, inya I carved it here to fit up there. Ako ninggi carbdere aron muhaom dito sa taas. Now picture your life. God is doing a carving sa atong kinabuhi sa yuta aron makwalified ta to enter His kingdom. Amen. So ang sitwasyon ni mo karon ayaw kahibong. Ayaw kay mo. It's just like during the time of Jeremiah. Ingon sa ginoo kang Jeremiah, Hermias, tagaan takag binsayo kung sa'y kinabuhi. Add to sa potter's house. O niya, pagtanaw ni Jeremiah dito, ang potter nagsigi o kuan og clay, purma og clay. O niya, muhiwi gani gamay, kumutun og balik. Wala gilabay ang clay, gipurmag balik. Hantod nga mahimo na siya, nindot kayo. Amen. There might be a chance nga sa atong panahon karon nagsigi pagporma ang Ginoo. Unya ni kahiwi gikumot og balik wa gilabay. Giporma na pog balik. For what? Because God all things work together for good to them who love God according to his purpose and will. Amen. Unsay gingon ni Joseph, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for God. The second one, God's foreknowledge. The first part of verse 29. For those whom He foreknew. Now the word foreknew is from the Greek word prognosko. Prognosko means to know beforehand. Meaning, ikaw o ako, God knows me beforehand. If we recall in, in book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4, nga, even before the foundation of the earth, God chose you. The question is, diin ka atong before the foundation of the earth? I don't know. O mangutana ka na ko, nga nung gilawas ang kapastors ginoo, I really don't know. Because the Bible declares we are being chosen by God even before the foundation of the earth. The word for know means what? To know beforehand. And God foreknows that all things comes to pass. He knows everything. Past, present, and future, God knows. Nahibawan sa ginoo. Now here's a question. O ang gino na ibaw, past, present, and future. Then, the question is, where does faith come from? O na ibaw ang gino, past, present, and future, di naman gikan ron ang pagto. Is it something that I need to decide to do? Gihimo na malangko sa gino nga, nga robot? 
Kay nahibaw naman siya tanan. Now the question is, diin man di gikan ning imo ug akong pagtuo. Ang uban tao mo ingon pastor, aw nakakontribute gyud ko sa pag sa pagtuo. Ibutang e ko lang pastor 99% iya sa Ginoo, but I still have 1% nga gi-contribute. Kay ako may ning tuo. Ato nang isitol. Ug do na bagyud tay na himo ni ining atong pagtuo. Now, this is the doctrine, mga exon. Then I want you to understand. Open your Bible in Book of Ephesians, chapter two, verse eight. The in mang yu dey gika ning akong pagtuo. The Bible declares, "For by grace you have been what saved through what through faith, and that is not of yourselves; it is what." It is a gift of God. Scripture says that your faith is a gift. Now, o gift ni siya, unsa may imong gihimo, nothing. Unya, pastor, gift mana? Sa ato pa ako nang gidawat? Kay gift mana? Ako nang gidawat. So, doon ako gihimo nga part, ang pagdawat dahil pastor, ako mana? Padayon ta. In John chapter 6, verse 44. Tanaw na to. Kung doon na batay gihimo. John chapter 6, verse 44, it says, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me. Listen to this phrase. Drews him. Sa ato padili ka mo adto kang Kristo, o dili ang amahan nagpadala ni mo dito. And then he says, And I will raise him on the last days. So, ning adto ka kang Kristo, not because of yourself, because it is the will of the Father. Dili gikan ni mo. In fact, in book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2, the Bible declares, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Kinsay author sa'y mong pagtoo? It is Jesus Christ. Kinsay mo human sa'y mong pagtoo? It is Jesus Christ. Ngunit ngong kakaroon, Unya, Pastor, unsa na malanggay ka kung pagdawat kang Kristo? We have to settle that verse. Unsa na malanggay ang akong pagdawat kang Kristo? Kaining dawat man ko. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. Ako na to. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. Kay ang Diyos, mao ang naghatag ka na to o tinguha. Kisa'y naghatag ni Mugtinguha? It is God, not only that. Naghatag ka ni Mugtinguha, katakos sa pagbuhat sa iyang kabubuton. So, everything is from God. Ang imong gihimo is just what? Nothing. Ningduol ka kang Kristo, not because of yourself, but because it is the will of God. Here's a perfect example. The perfect example is the life of Paul, si Pablo. If you will read book of Acts, chapter 8 to chapter 9, you will find out o giunsa pag-persecute ni Pablo ang mga Kristuhanon. To the point nga iya pang gipapatay si Stephen. But here's the thing. Sa dihang nagpadayon siya sa pag-persecute sa mga Kristuhanon, Kinsay na encounter ni Pablo? Jesus Christ. Nangita ba si Pablo o ginoo during the time? No. Ang gipangita ni Pablo during the time, mga Kristohanon nga iyang i-persecute. But because of the divine intervention of God sa iyang kinabuhi, iyang na-encounter si Kristo. Same thing sa inyong kinabuhi. O akong kinabuhi. Mangita, mangita ko direk, doon na ba yung nangita ginoo? First and foremost. Doon na ba yung nangita ginoo direk? No. Why nangita ginoo na to? Why? Because Jesus Himself, ingon ni Ginoong Isos, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit. In John chapter 15, verse 16. Wa kamupili na ko. 
kinsa may mupili na to dere nga nagingon ang book of Romans chapter 3 verse 10 for no one is righteous and not even one way tarong na to dering dapita mao nga og dunay mosud diring lugar nga nangita nga tarong siya nasayop siya sa pagsulod kay mga tao dire puro dili tarong nga pinasaylo sa Ginoo amen palakpakin ninyo Ginoo hallelujah Romans chapter 3 verse 11 says no one understands God no one no one seeks for God why nangita Ginoo why nangita Ginoo in fact in John chapter 11 motoy perfect example sa taong patay the life of Lazarus. In John chapter 11, o gatong basahon, si Lazarus, si Martha, o si Maria, namatay si Lazarus. Gilubong si Lazarus four days sa sud sa lubganan. John chapter 11, verse 38, down, verse 39, up to verse 43, patay si Lazarus. Ingon ni Ginoong Isos, ablihin ninyo ang pansyon. Ingon dahil ni Martha, Lord, baho na na. Upat na nakadlaw, Lord, baho na na. Meaning, ang patay, why mahimo. Amen? We need to recall in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, nga giingnan ta ni Pablo, nga kitang tanan mga patay. Sa to pa ang patay, dili makarespond og tarong. Dili ta makarespond og tarong. Why? For no one is righteous, no one seeks for God, we are all dead. Si Lazaro upat kaadlaw nga patay ingon sa igsuon baho na na Lord wa na nay mahimo papan giingon ni Kristo hinumdumi nga ako ang pagkabanhaw Sa dihang gitawag ni Kristo ang tao nga upat kaadlaw nga patay Lazaro rise up pangutana ning barog ba si Lazaro Ning barog wa Anus aning barog si Lazaro sa dihang gitawag ni Kristo. Amen? The same thing to your life. Sa dihang si Kristo na intervene sa imong kinabuhi na himo kang magtutuo ni Kristo. Amen? It is a gift. Kay why usa nato diri nga nangitag Dios? Why usa nga nakasabot? It is because the divine intervention of God. Now, continue on the verse 29. It says, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son. Now, kining word nga predestined mga isoon, og for no, dili ni magbuwag. For no and predestined Dili siya magbuwag. The word predestined means pro-orizo. Pro-orizo in Greek, which means deciding ahead of time. Ang forno, proginosko, to know beforehand. So ang dua kabutang, deciding ahead of time and knowing beforehand. Dili ni siya magbuwag. Now, Ang ihimplo diri nga atong makita in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 basaho nako sa binisya tanawa Bisan sa wala pa buhata ang kalibutan gipili na kitang daan sa Dios nga mahimong balaan ug walay ikasaway sa iyang atubangan pinaagi sa atong paghiusa kang Kristo You see ug imong tanawon Bisan wala pa buhata ang kalibutan question, diin man ka sa wala pa gibuhat ang kalibutan. Well, we don't know. We don't know. But the Bible declares, we are predestined by God. Therefore, our sufferings is what? Is worth it. Because God has chosen us to be what? To be His very own people na kinidi ang mga pangitabo sa atong kinabuhi karon. It is worth it. Nga naman, 
kay ang atong pagtuo girefine sa Ginoo. If we recall in Zechariah chapter 13 verse 19 again mo dito this third I will bring into the fire I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. Ang imong pagtuo ug akong pagtuo suwayan sa Ginoo mga igsoon. Suwayan is Ginoo. Ug mamrinda bitaw ta unsa himuon ko hadan sing sing unya ibagnod asa gani ibagnod mga igsoon? Sa bato, o niya pagkahumag, bagnod, o sa ibutang, aksidu. O tinood ni nga gold, o sa may tabo, musinaw. Pero o dili ni tinood, maun sa man, mulagom. Maupo ni nga atong pagtuo, o dili tinood, inigpagabot sa pagsuway sa gino, mulagom. Mutalikod, mubiya, muingon dahil, maudi ay ning kristuhanon. But friends, the Bible declares that we will be refined by God. Amen? Og ato ning makitaan mga igsoon sa kinabuhi ni Ginoong Isos. We see this dynamic at work in the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In book of Acts chapter 4. Open your Bible. Book of Acts chapter 4. Ang istorya sa book of Acts chapter 4 it talks about Peter and John. The sheer the resurrection with boldness. Wali si Pedro og Juan. In fact, during their time, wali, and then the Bible declares, 5,000 converts in Acts chapter 4. 5,000. And di na, nahibung ang mga, ang, ang mga religious leaders, ingon nila nga, these people are uneducated. In book of Acts chapter 4 verse 13. Kini mga tawhana, wa man ni mag But how in the world that they are bold in sharing? Pero kimong basahon ng zon ang Acts chapter 4 verse 13, the last praise, taging on, but they recognize that they are with Jesus. And that is the game changer. If we are with Jesus, if we are in Christ, because there is a power not your own power, but the power of the Holy Spirit. Maunang nakaingon si Pablo in Romans chapter 1 verse 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation first to the Jew and to the Gentiles. There is a power in the name of Jesus. Amen? Now, book of Acts chapter 4 verse 27 to verse 28. Nagampo diri ang mga kaigsuunan, nag-ampo sila. Kaya gipersecute silang Pablo, nag-ampo sila di, sila, sila Pedro o si Juan, nag-ampo sila di ang uban nga mga kaigsuunan. Ingon nila, For truly in this city, there were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus. So gipersecute ang mga Kristuhanon, whom you anointed, but Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the people of Israel. But listen to verse 28. To do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. Unsay bote pasabot ning atong gibasa mga igsoon. It talks about that indeed, Jesus was predestined to be crucified. Nga ang iyang kinabuhi mga igsoon, pre-planning. The forecast na daan, doon ay prognosis that one day at the age of 33 years old, Jesus Christ will be crucified. Amen? Nga nung di pa ubot pa mang Diyod sa edad nga 33, nga pwede man himo na ginungisot at the age of 20 years old or 25 years old. Why? Because God knows His business. The Bible declares, I see it's time for everything. Amen? Dunay time table ang gino matag usan nato. Mo na nagin yung all things work together for good to them who love God according to His purpose or His timing into your life. Amen. Ang tanan nga nahitabo sa kalibutan, past, present, and future is according to the will of God. 
Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5, he says, He predestined us for adoption to Himself as sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of His will. Now, the word adoption. We need to be very careful in the word adoption. Everybody claims, well, anak ko si Gino, ikaw anak si Gino, anak po ko si Gino. Ikaw gihimo sa Gino, gihimo po ko si Gino. Here's one thing. Indeed, we are all created by God, but not all are children of God. The Bible says, He predestined us for adoption. There is always a process for you and I to become a child of God. The word adoption. How? Through Jesus Christ. Mo nang ang mga tao nga way Kristo sa kinabuhi, they cannot claim that they are children of God. Because there is a process for you and I to become a children of God. John chapter 1 verse 12, Whoever receive and believe in His name, He give the right to become a children of God. There is a process of adoption for you and I to be called as what? Children of God. And here's a reminder for all of us. Here's a reminder. We are not Christians, first of all, because of what we decided about Christ. But because of what God decided about us before the foundation of the world. I say it again. We are not Christians because of what we decided about Christ. But because of what God decided about us before the foundation of the world. We were able to choose Him only because He had first chosen us. Dili kitang unang nanimpili sa ginoo. Siya ang nanimpili nato. Amen? First John chapter 4, verse 19. We love Him because first He loves us. It's not, I love Him first and then He loves me. No. We love Him because First, He loves us. Ang ginoo maoy na higugma nato ona. Amen? We are predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son so that Christ will be honored into our life. Aron mapasidunggan ang ginoo sa atong kinabuhi. Now, ang ikaupat na butang about God's calling. Ang panawagan sa ginoo. Verse 30. Those whom He predestined, He also called. He also called. God, balihonin na ito, mga Those whom He predestined, He also called. Balihon ako ang maong sentence. God called every single person He predestined. No? Ako lang gi rephrase God called every single person He predestined. Now, question is, what is the call? God's calling. And what is the call? What is the calling? Unay pangutan na karon. O gitawag ko, unsa may panawagan sa ginoo sa maong tawag, pagtawag. Now, the calling is that gospel must go forth. Nga sa ato pa, gospel must be preached. Romans chapter 10, verse 14. Sa mga iso. Romans chapter 10, verse 14. Ingon dari sa Biblia. How then will they call on Him in whom have not believed? Unsaon nila pag pagtawag wa man ni sila muto and how are they to believe in whom they never heard sao nila pag pagtuo nga wa man ni sila makabati og kinsa nang alana but listen to this last stanza and how are they to hear 
without someone preaching. Nga sa ato pa ang panawagan ni mo og nako, ingon diri, unsao nila pagkabati o guay mo wali. Mauna, during the earthly ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 19, ingon ni Ginoong Isos, follow me and I will make you a fisher of men. Our calling is for us to preach the gospel, not to convert. Naman, in book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, it says, For faith comes from hearing the message, and the message heard through the word of Christ. Hallelujah. We need to share the word of God. Not even reading. Faith comes from reading the gospel. No. Preaching. Listening. Ang panawagan we are being foreknown, predestined, called by God. For what purpose? That He will be glorified sa imog akong kinabuhi in order for us to share the gospel. Sipyat ang atong panglantaw o dihang napita pakyasta. Ang atong panglantaw nga cool ra ang life. Then, we need to check our heart. Amen? Kay mauni ang panawagan, sabi ni Saya pa, apan unsaon nila pagdangup ka niya, kung wala sila mutuo o unsaon nila pagtuo ka niya, kung wala sila makadungog sa mahitungod ka niya, O kung saan man nila pagkadungod, kung walay musugilon kanila. Somebody ang musugilon kanila and it is you and I. That is not just the work of the pastor or the church leaders. Or that, that's all of us. Dili man ni sa basketball mga igsoon, nga limara ang muduwa, unya kita magsigig pinakpakay. Eh, niduta, oh, niduta. That's not the way it is. This is our business. All of us. Amen? Hallelujah. God does not choose believers for salvation based on what we are or what we have done, but based on His sovereign grace. Gipilita because of what we call the sovereign grace. Mga butang, mga igsoon, dagha mga butang na dili na ito masabtan. See, for example, the sovereign grace of God for His reason alone. Ningingon ng Biblia, I love Jacob and I hate Esau. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Ang sao man ni mo pag-reconcile na. Ningingon na ginoo nga, I love Jacob, I hate Esau. Another thing, sa iyang rason gihapon, God chose Israel to be his covenant people. Nga nung Israel man. Nga nung dili Pilipino. Nga nung dili Amerikano. Nga yung Pilion. Nga nung dili Usapadha. Nga nung Israel man. Why? That is the sovereignty of God. That is the sovereignty of God. Wa tayo ga home pag question sa ginoo. Amen? That is God's business. Kag mangita kag fairness, maingod yung taon, Pastor, dili na fair. Nga naman, nga nung gipili man as gino. Okay, let's go to the fairness. Add to ta. Mangita tag fair. Lord, nangita mang fair. Maingod na gino. Nangita kag fairness, impair no mo to naman. Nga naman, no one is righteous and not even one. So asa ta pa ingon? Impair no. Mangita kag fair, ang akong anak, akong gipada, why sa gino? Gilansan sa cross. Asa may fair na? Asa may patas diya? That is God's sovereign day. Amen? God knows His business. Huwag mangitag tag fairness sa gino, ikaw o ako, paingon tag imperno. But because of His grace, gipili ka, magpasalamat ka, magpasalamat ang tanan, na usata sa gikaluyan sa gino, out of 10 billion people. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ang ikalimang butang, we are justified by God. Now, 
justified, continue in verse 30. It says, For this home he called, he also justified. Justified. As if we are not sinners. The word justification is based upon the death of Jesus Christ as our sinless substitute. Or in other words, propitiation. Substitute or propitiation. Kanang word nga propitiation, mga ikson, is the satisfying payment for our sin. Sa ato pa, wa yu'y lain ikabayad. Maura yun na siya. Maura yun na siya. Na, unsa man nga maura ikabayad. It's about the blood of Jesus. The perfect payment for our sins. And God is holy and just and His decision to declare us acquitted is what? Is final. Pag-ingon sa Biblia, mga egzoon, sa dihang na himukang Kristuhanon, ingon sa Romans chapter 8, verse 1, there's no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Final. O ikaw tinuray ng Kristuhanon, no more condemnation. Kaya nga naman, because it is Jesus Christ also says, I give them eternal life. Not temporary life, eternal life. There are some time in our Christian walk of life, we will stumble. Matumba ta. But by God's grace, makabarog ka. Why? Because the Bible is so clear. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, Ug unsay akong sugdan, akong humnon sa imong kinabuhi. Amen? Wa mo yung Biblia, Berto, sugdi, kay akong humnon. No. The Bible says, Ang akong gisugdan, akong humnon. Amen? Palakpak yung ginoo sa iyang gihimo sa imong kinabuhi. Hallelujah. God has chosen us to forgive us and to cleanse us. It gives us perfect position before Him. Dahil sa ka, akong nabasahan mga igson about, about justification from the Westminster Catechism. Ing ani ang ilang pag-define sa word justification. Ingin nila nga, justification is an act of God's free gift wherein He pardoned all our sins. All our sin, which means it is for the believers only. Dili ni unbelievers. We are talking about believers. And accepted us, accepted us as righteous in His sight only for the righteousness of Christ. Listen to this phrase. Only for the righteousness of Christ imputed to us received by faith alone. So, ang pagkamatarong ni Kristo is imputed. Gibutang nga rin na to. Kay nga naman, kay di man tatarong. Amen? Nga nung i-impute man ang pagkat matarong ni Kristo, kay ikaw o ako, mga mautang tanan, mauna kinahangran ang, ang righteousness of Jesus Christ, ma impute na rin na to, now the Bible declares, we become righteous. Not because of your righteousness, but Christ's righteousness imputed to us. Amen? Mauna ingon sa Biblia, now that we are imputed by the righteousness of Christ, the Bible declares in book of Romans chapter 5, we have peace with God. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Nahimo na tang on sa man, reconcile, we have peace agreement with God. Nga nung kinahang lamang tag peace. Why? Because in Romans chapter 5 verse 10, we are God's enemies. Ingnang imong katapan, praise God, I have peace with God. Because of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That is justification is all about. No? I am justified by faith. And I have peace with God now because of the love of God through Christ. Amen. And the last one is, we are glorified. Still in verse 30. And this whom He justified, He also glorified. Praise the Lord. Now, glorification is the end point of our salvation 
or what we call the grand finale. The grand finale. It refers to our resurrection on the last days or the final fulfillment of what we call the God-saving purpose into our life. And this is not our work. This is God's work. Kanang gitawag na to glorification, pagkahuman ng kinabuhi, we have what? As while we're walking day by day to day. Today, ang gitawag din na to progressive sanctification. Adlaw-adlaw nga atong paglakaw. Giusap ta sa ginoo. Then, pag-abot sa finale, pag-abot sa final, inigkamatay ni mo, and that is what we call the final or the complete sanctification, and that is your glorification. And everybody's excited, I suppose. Amen? Are we excited one day, mga egzon? One day, makikatubang ta sa gino? Mao nang ingon ni Juan. I want you to open this verse. 1 John chapter 3. Verse 2. Mga hinigugma, karon mga anak na kita sa Diyos, apan wala pa, mapadayag kung unsa kita sa kaulahian na hibaluan nato nga kun here's a thing kun muabot na si Kristo mahisama kita kaniya that is what we called during the resurrection kay makita gayod nato siya sa iyang pagkasiya hallelujah now mga igsoon just a, a view ining atong life we are now in the church age kining atong sitwasyon karon Sa dispensationalism, we are now in the church age. Now, at the end of the church age, we have what we call the rapture of the church. Kuhaon sa Dios ang iyang mga katawhan. Kuhaon. Kuhaon niya, kato mga buhi pa, kuhaon sa gino. For the twinkling of an eye, kuhaon sa gino, una katong nangangamatay, will have their glorified body. Aukad tung mga buhi pa, dagigo ng Biblia, this perishable body will be changed into imperishable. Mausbunis gino, butangan ni ogitawag na to glorified body. And that is what glorification is all about. The grand finale of this life. Amen? Og ikaw og ako mga egsoon, we are His chosen Children, disdain for what? For His glory. Hallelujah. Our glorification is our perfect conformity in the image of Jesus Christ. Monang ingon ni Juan, nahibaloan nato nga kun muabot na si Kristo. That is what we call the rapture of the church. May sama kita kaniya, kay makita ngayon nato siya sa iyang pagka siya. Amen? Glorification is our grand finale of God's redeeming love. Daghang mga proseso karon mga igsoon, we will in, we will in, in uh, maka, maka encounter tag pain and, and sorrows and remember last time ato ito na groonings and groonings even death and thirst of disappointment, but no matter what it takes, it's on, God will complete the process in your life and in my life. Amen? Is it that wonderful that one day we will be with Him? Atong hinumduman, God never make mistakes. Di yud masayop ang ginoo. Monang nakingon ng Biblia, God causes all together, what? All things to work together for good to them who love God according to His purpose and will. Thanks so on. God prepared heaven. Listen to this. God prepared heaven a place for a prepared people. God prepared heaven a place for a prepared people. Question is, are you prepared for heaven? Why prepared sa heaven? And how in the world ganiya mo karon? Huh? 
Os bunako. God prepared heaven, a place for a prepared people. Question, are you prepared for heaven? Hinera. Are you prepared for heaven? Amen. Palakpakan na to ang ginoo. Amen. Hallelujah. Salamat sa ginoo kay prepared na mong heaven. Kay kuhaon ta, inig panggawas na to karon. Because you declare that you are prepared to enter heaven. Amen? Muna nangutan ako ninyo, are you prepared to enter heaven? Amen. Kaya ning amen mo sa ato, pahay mo, kahadlo ko, what happened after this? Amen. Praise the Lord. Here's a God's invitation, karong kabuntagon mga iso. Remember, all things work together for good. Ang ingon sa Biblia, mga iso, in book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13, Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Meaning, salvation is available to all even right now. Now, sa imong kinabuhi, wa pa kay kasiguruhan. Blurry pa ang imong pananaw sa imong kaugalingon. You're not sure sa imong kaluwasan. Remember, salvation is all by grace. All by grace. God did it. Ang gikinahanglan nimo is what? Pasalamat ang Ginoo nga iya kang gikaluyan. So this morning, this is a very special hour. O gwa kay kasiguruhan sa imong pagtuo, ing na si Jesus. Lord Jesus, ani ako nga usa ka makasasa. Usba ang akong kinabuhi sa imong pamaagi. It's a very simple prayer. But I will tell you, it changed my life. It will change your life. Amen? Because He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Let's all stand up, and this is the first Sunday. So, among a worship team.
In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to verse 29, this is what the Bible declares. For I received from the Lord what I delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus Christ in the night when he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And whoever therefore eats the bread and drink the cups of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and the blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself then and so eat of the bread and drink the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body, eats and drinks the judgment on himself. My son, let's examine ourselves and pray before we will take the bread, eat the bread and drink the cup. Let's pause for a while and pray. Let's eat the bread and drink the cup. Hallelujah. Please clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap of praying to the Lord. Father, we thank you, O God. We thank you, Lord, that indeed we are all sinners, O God. No one is righteous. Father, we thank you for sending your son to be crucified on the cross. Because without shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. Father, we thank you that you foreknow us. You predestine us, oh God, even before the creation of the world. We just thank you for your grace, oh God. You know, ligunang matagusa ka na mo, God, as we continue to run the race. Tabangi kami, O God, nga makahuman kami ng dagan sa lumba, sa kinabuhi, that day by day, you will be glorified in our life. Salamat ka ni mo, Gino, heaven for today. Just thank you, and we give you praise and glory. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine on you and gracious to you and may the Lord lift his countenance on you and give you peace Amen and Amen Praise the Lord Happy Lord's Day and God bless you all My exon, karon nga domingo kay we are under MECQ ang atong uh, reflection time will be suspended temporarily no? So happy Lord's Day. After I said to probably after announce after the last song. Ano man? Nako yan ay announcement. Ah there's an announcement after the last song. So do na ko ni announcement mga exon after the last song I love sa mo pamarog no o panglakaw. Do na by announcement. Hallelujah. Let us sing our last song, The Lord is My Salvation. O oh God, in you we find our salvation, O oh Lord. We thank you, O 
oh God, that you have given this as a free gift, oh Lord, to everyone who believes in God. Thank you, oh God. The grace of God has reached for me. me from the raging sea, and I am safe on this solid ground, the Lord is my salvation.
our living God. Um, makapalingkod sa ta, sa Hindi mo makalingkod sa kamadiyot. Kay natay announcement. No, so... Kuat ko sa mga sl- sa tong slides. Nah. 